Hi Aquarius, it's Sarah from Divinely You. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me. Um, so let's just dive right in, shall we? I was just watching um, an Aquarius horoscope from a new astrologer that somebody introduced me to. Um, and he was talking about all of the beautiful energy that's coming for Aquarius, like new, like surprising good stuff, like um, just in a lot of communication and a lot of like maybe even abrupt surprises, I feel like is what's coming. Um, we still got Saturn sitting in our sign, um, but a lot of planets that are kind of moving away a little bit, but you know, and Mercury is about to go into retrograde in Gemini, Mercury is a planet of communication um we're also in the middle of those eclipses and uh yeah so um lots of cool energy going on um for Aquarius I feel like it's good time to really show up for yourself and really like just be oh my god just celebrate yourself like show up for yourself like tap into all of the things that you really want in your life um is what I'm feeling like so this week's cards we got um the dreamer, six of water, and renewal. So let's take a look. All right. So um, I feel like because we got the dreamer and the renewal card, like this is such an opportunity, like I said, to really get after what you really want in this life, like who you want to be, how you want to be it. Like you've got that unique weirdo energy, like freaking use it right now. Um, this is like the perfect time to like not chill out, not step back, but step forward um, into the unknown, into the innovation, into the um, into the 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 creation of what's coming for you. Um, that six of water, however, stands out because I feel like that's, uh, for me personally, that's me holding on to, so you're hold, like holding on to or romanticizing your past or trying to make your past look good, or maybe you're trying to look past people. For me, it's like, uh, I'm trying to like, I feel like I'm trying to like hold on to the past of being like, well, those people judge me or, you know, they don't agree with me or they don't support me. Fuck them. Like, let them go. Let that past shit go. Um, it is really time to just, man, I feel like this has been a theme for the past like two weeks for every sign is like releasing the old crap, the old people, places and things. I just said this on the Pisces one too. Like it's, it's, it's stop thinking about the past as like your hindrance or your, um, your past happened. It occurred, but it's not who you are. It's not who you're stepping into. You're stepping into this dreamer with this renewed sense of self you're moving in the right direction. So cut the cords from the past. Stop looking back there. Look forward because you've got all of this beautiful energy moving forward right now. And there's a lot of good, big, so like, I, like I said, abrupt surprises that could change your world. Um, and remember Uranus is still in Taurus, so it's going to be there for a hot while. Um, but because Uranus is in Taurus and, and Uranus is ruled by uh, Aquarius, like that's a disruptor planet, right? So there are going to be changes in your world. And if you want to make sure that you're on the right path to get there, you've got to let go of all of the old baggage that's holding you back, including the thoughts that you have about your past and who those people were, or who you even were, like let go of who you were. You were that person. You're not that person anymore. You've done your growth. You've done your inner work. You're a different person. Capitalize on that. Be with that energy. Um, and trust in yourself and surrender to the path that's that you are opening up for yourself you're making this path available for yourself you're the one who's created it you have like been you know you've been through your challenges let them go release them and move forward you literally have all of this energy to move forward with uh don't miss this do not miss this this is going to be so beautiful for aquarius i feel like um i feel like it's a very I feel like this was just a very exciting time for Aquarius to really like catapult 
like all the big words, catapult, accelerate. Um, it's going to be like just some big energy. Um, and then to support you from the Believe in Your Own Magic um, Oracle, we got the Feast card. So stop and celebrate yourself. So like I was just saying, um, really tap into like you, you were there. You're not anymore. Now you get to celebrate your progress, celebrate where you're going, celebrate yourself for being where you are. Like maybe you've stepped into a whole new level of self-love, self-acceptance, self-worth. Um, and really honor that, honor that for yourself. And then you get to share that with the world and in, in who you are, the role that you're stepping into or the person that you're stepping into um, and really just creating and, and opening up opportunities for yourself um, as this energy continues to unfold. So that's what I got for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate you so much. Uh, what do I wanna say? Oh, if you would like a private reading, my email is below. You can reach out to me there. Um, and hopefully you're following my Instagram, Sarah Divinely You on Instagram. Um, and you can catch some of my new content. I've been playing with some new photography and uh, playing with some new content. And we're going to see where that leads. But I personally feel like I'm stepping into something completely unknown, unfamiliar, I'm excited, I'm a little apprehensive, but I'm going to hold on to the excitement and like let this unfold for me. Um, you know, I released the role of coach um, about a month or so ago. Maybe it's been a little more than a month ago, but I released the role of coach and I opened myself up to being a guide, being a with, you know, being the, you know, sharing my wisdom, sharing my beliefs and sharing my, um, my guidance. And it's really opened up a lot of creativity for me. Um, what, you know, I mean, I got like building this or creating this whole new like set over here um, and just really stepping into a whole different role. And I don't, it's still not quite defined, but I feel like it's coming together and I'm just excited to see where it's going to take me in my life. So I hope you find that to be helpful, Aquarius. And uh, I will talk to y'all next time. Thank you. Love you.